Hey guys, it's Settled, and welcome to the very first episode of the Ultimate Iron Man series. This series will be a series towards uh, my dream gear. It'll basically just be me hunting my absolute favorite gear in the game on an Ultimate Iron Man account. Quick disclaimer, this first episode is very combat based, so if you don't like that, I'm very sorry. Uh, this first clip is me getting my uh, stuff out of my loot, uh, my uh, looting bag, not a whatever I just fucking said. Uh, so, if you don't know what this is, this is the suicide method, which Ultimate Iron Man used to get the stuff out of their looting bag. Ultimate Iron Man used a looting bag system, where basically they put all their stuff in there, uh, entering the wilderness so they can actually deposit anything into it, and then later on they actually have to suicide to get anything out of it, because to get anything out of it you actually need a bank interface. A lot of people think you don't, you actually do. So, that's exactly what I'm doing here. So uh, this is commonly used like when uh, when you want to do something different. So let's say I'm currently doing combat. I would put my combat uh, or I would put my skilling items in the looting bag, and then I would uh, focus on combat. Obviously, having the most efficient inventory, having the most space possible for food, potions, etc. So uh, right now I'm actually doing that exact thing. And I am gearing up for Slayer, Barrows, and whatever else, maybe some quests. And I actually got an easy clue scroll during killing thugs for a new looting bag, so you guys are about to see that. Alright, so here's the first step, as I'm having a fucking aneurysm clicking on the spot. And there you go. So this step is, uh, I think it's like bronze, yeah, bronze spear, gold ring, and gold necklace. So I go to the goblin village right next door, get a bronze spear like 479,000 kills in. Then I telegrab the uh, gold bars under Varrock West Bank, and I make those into a gold ring and a gold necklace. And that pretty much puts an end to the clue scroll. Although there's one more step after this. This is possibly like the longest easy clue I've ever seen. This thing was four steps. It was monstrous, and it took like 30 minutes, which is a ton for an easy clue scroll. So, and let me just tell you right now, quick disclaimer, the loot was not worth it. Here's the reward. That's why I don't do easy clue scrolls, god damn it. So these next two levels, very, very important, although one is more important than the other, I'll tell you that much. 76 defense coming in though, nice level. And the next level, 72 Slayer, so awesome, I was so happy with this level. Sorry that uh, you can't really see the bottom of my screen, but 72 Slayer unlocks Wyverns, gives me tons of supplies, money, so I actually prepared for some celebratory kills at Wyverns, made Broad Bolts, made the Mind Shield slash Elemental Shield. And I got ready, but before we get into that, I want to give you guys a quick rundown of my account since you're just jumping into this series because it isn't from scratch. 142 quest points, got quite a lot of quests done, quite of the more important ones I should say. Recipe for Disaster, got uh, Rune Gloves right now. Monkey Ambassador is kind of a bitch because uh, you need the Gree Grees and all that, I still don't have 70 cooking. Fire Cape took quite a long time to get, I think like two or three attempts. The supplies were really hard to get on this account. Got a Slayer Helm, not imbued yet though. That's actually my part of my dream gear list. I want to get that thing imbued. Dragon Defender, classic stuff. Here's a skill rundown. 72 Slayer, awesome. Just uh, You guys just saw that though. 83 Hunter, that's uh, actually... Alright, so I have a Glory T from like clue scrolls but I really want a normal glory because I think the glory T looks like shit so I'll probably be hunting that in one of my later episodes or something like that I don't know maybe uh, other skills are pretty basic 29 XP until 52 construction we'll probably get that pretty soon I might or might not show it I don't actually know and I think that's about it I'll give you a quick rundown of my looting bag got three no four barrows items i had five actually but i uh, tossed away an extra guthans helmet for a bond because why do i need two uh so that's actually what the name correlates to i got four helmets in my first 300 barrows chest that's all i could get so that's why my name is only helmets then i got a flail so the name doesn't really appeal anymore and i probably will end up changing it very very soon to my channel name or something like that because my main currently has that name other stuff is pretty basic though 
and uh, here is actually my very first wyvern kill and I actually put together a little bit of a montage of my first 50 wyvern kills so enjoy Alright, so now we're going to do some tiers of guthics. I actually uh, just went here for my weekly XP gains, and quick little disappointment, I am shit at this mini game. I got like 67 tiers, yeah, that's so bad. I think the most I've ever gotten is like 90, but we still managed to get 42 rune crafting in there, so let's go! And now I'm buying proselyte. I wanted to do a quick nightmare zone run because I want to get some points towards the Slayer Helm and I do like a hundred and seventy seven thousand point run in nightmare zone I get cut short because I was looking away from the screen too long so I got cut short four prayer potions left but I think I'm like halfway towards the Slayer Helm 637k points not bad I think it's like 1.25 million so sweet and now we get into the barrel's chest so my barrel's luck is complete shit uh, I actually do 50 chests here and well I get nothing I know it's really really boring to put this in here but I spent like four days doing all these chests because I was doing them all with the mini games teleport because I literally have like no other way of getting here unless I walked from like a fairy wing which I, I guess isn't that bad but I really don't want to do that so I did 50 chests here and prior to this I was actually 50 chests dry or oh, what am I saying I did 50 chests I was like 105 chests dry prior to this so now I'm like uh, I think it's like 160 or so probably more by the time you're watching this so pray for me 
Alright, so next we get a medium clue scroll, and this one was like uh, three, four steps. The first one was actually really easy, it was just a myth plate skirt and a maple longbow, so I go do that, and here's the reward. Man, I don't know what it is, but my luck with these clue scrolls is absolutely terrible. So... Here is the fire giant task over with. This is the task I got 72 slayer on. Next, next task I get is 170 trolls, and I actually love the troll task. So many alkables. Here's like, I don't know, 30k worth. So it's it really adds up, and they drop noted raw sharks and stuff like that. It's a lot of useful stuff. And I'm actually going to be showing a quick method for getting really easy food on this task. If you're an ultimate Iron Man and you want to avoid, I don't know, fishing or going to the Warriors Guild and having to come back, then you can actually go to Yatiza, which is really, really close. It'll take you like 20 seconds to 20 seconds to get there, and you can buy cod, lobsters, and stuff like that here really cheap. So you can fill up there and go back to your task really quickly. And there's the end of the task. I got 21 ro uh, noted raw sharks, nearly got to 200k in alkables. I actually just really, really like this task. It's so useful. And the next one we get is aberrant specters, although I do end up skipping those. I'll probably end up showing that. And this is why I actually got those noted balls of wool. My account is like level 94 combat, and I still haven't done this quest. So I turn these in real quick, just one quest point closer to Barrow's Gloves. And here is the task I got after skipping Aberrant Spectres because I didn't show me actually skipping them. I think something went wrong with that clip so I had to record this. And cheeky 40k Ock there, or I think that's like 30k actually, my bad. And there's the end, 115 tasks in a row. And the next one will actually be really, really nice. Not this specifically, because I had to end up skipping this because I don't have the items to, like, uh, I don't have, like, a Bando's item to protect myself from Bando's creatures and stuff like that. So I end up skipping this, and I get something very nice. Skeletal Wyverns. This was such an awesome task. And as you can see here, this is the end. I got almost 300k in alkables, which is actually sick. A bunch of Ranar seeds, a bunch of supplies. I have pure essence for when I start using them for like gnats and stuff like that. So here is actually the complete turnout. I end up just crafting the diamonds and stuff that I can't alk. I just either put in my looting bag or I sold to the general store for more monies. And that pretty much puts an end to this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed the very first episode of the Ultimate Iron Man Road to Dream Gear series. I hope to continue this for a really long time. Sorry that this was so combat based, but I had to explain my account and stuff like that. And next episode will definitely be a billion times better, so please tune in next time and see you later.